Samsung Galaxy pushed mid first. Flash hold left! They've caught Baker! They've got the CC! The mid laner is down! What's up everyone? Zyrene here. This week on The Breakdown, we're going to look at the play that ended SK Telecom T1's domination and won the World Championship for Samsung Galaxy. 39 minutes into the game, SKT are up 2,000 gold, 4 drakes, and just used the Elder Dragon to regain control of the map and defend their turretless nexus from Samsung's pushes. With Baron respawning, Samsung and SKT fight over mid lane control to have priority on their next move. Samsung group and pushes 5 whereas SKT are split up and threatening a collapse from all sides. Samsung see SKT's carries are isolated from their frontline and sees the opportunity to jump onto them. This is the moment that everyone remembers. Ruler took control and flashed forward to catch Faker. When I first watched this, the engage looked like an overwhelming victory for Samsung, but this play wasn't as clean or dominant as it appeared. So let's get into it. Core JJ speeds up Ruler with Whimsy and preemptively shields him with help picks. Ruler then casts Chain of Corruption and Flash to root Faker. Samsung are ready for the ulti to land as Ambition and Cuvee throw follow-up CC, resulting in Faker's 2,350 health being deleted in just 1.5 seconds. With Faker dead at the start of the fight, it looks like Samsung have done it, but SKT fight tooth and nail for a counter kill, and they almost get it. After flashing forward, Ruler's Varus lacks the tools to defend himself, so it's on his team to provide defenses for him as he's now incredibly vulnerable. Bang threw explosive charge onto Ruler earlier and now begins attacking him, landing two crits as Wolf throws down an unavoidable solar flare. Ruler is stunned and drops to 15% HP. He presses barrier for a 415 health shield and his team jumps to the rescue. Core JJ immediately reacts and throws out Locket of the Iron Solari for a 638 HP shield, followed by Ambition's Locket for an extra 415 shielding on top of that, totaling 1,468 health worth of shields for Ruler. Core JJ then adds his heal in, giving Ruler 360 more health. This entire health bar full of gray health may seem excessive from Samsung, but it ends up being nothing short of necessary. Bang lands another basic attack and casts Buster Shot with a final crit flying towards Ruler, which activates his explosive charge, bursting through all of the shielding and healing from Samsung and leaving Ruler with just 145 health. Ruler survives and ends up knocked back into a safe position next to Blank's Gragas, who has no Body Slam, and Wolf's Leona, who has no Zenith Blade. Without ample threat or gap closers to finish off Ruler, he begins to basic attack Blank to heal up and zone him out of the fight as Core JJ throws a wild growth onto Ruler for good measure. It's important to note that the double locket shields weren't the only thing that enabled Ruler to catch Faker and survive. 45 seconds before the fight, Ambition completed his Knight's Vow and bound to Ruler, which redirected 12% of the damage Ruler took to Ambition. There were two waves of burst onto Ruler. The first burst dropped him to 273 HP before anyone on Samsung reacted. During that time, Ambition's Knight's Vow redirected 273 damage, the exact amount of health that Ruler had remaining. In the second wave of burst, Ruler's shields are destroyed and he's left with 145 HP. During that time, Ambition's Knight's Vow redirected 224 damage, saving Ruler again. Ambition's purchase of Knight's Vow is the difference maker. Without it, Samsung would have never had the chance to react to SKT's initial burst, and Ruler would have died. There was one barrier, one heal, two lockets, and one Knight's Vow protecting Ruler. If any one of those five things doesn't happen, the engage ends up being a one-for-one -one trade with Samsung's ADC down his flash. The fact that Ruler survives is huge. Even though he was brought low, he has a lasting impact on the rest of the fight. He's able to force Blank away and prevent him from reinforcing his team, as well as threatening the area that Samsung used later to retreat from Bang and Huni. He also applies Grievous Wounds to Huni, cutting what ends up being a massive heal from Subjugate 
and greatly weakening Huni's presence in the latter half of the fight. Looking back, this fight appeared easy for Samsung, but it almost slipped through their fingers. If Samsung had hesitated just six seconds, Faker would have had his flash. If Ambition had itemized more selfishly, Samsung would have never gotten a chance to respond to SKT's burst. And if everyone on Samsung wasn't ready to protect Ruler after he flashed forward to make the championship winning engage, Samsung would have given SKT a chance to come back into the series. I think Cuve said it best when asked in the post-match press conference about how it feels to be the best top laner in the world. He said, I want to be a part of the best team in the world. I don't think much about being the best top laner. The latter doesn't win tournaments. And it was true. As Samsung Galaxy swept the defending champions SK Telecom T1 3-0 and are now the 2017 world champions and the best team in League of Legends.